to thank you all for joining me as we explored the options that are available with the Bongo Virtual Classroom. And I want to take the opportunity to uh, do a recap of all those features that we looked at. We saw how a person can set their status to provide feedback to a presenter or use the chat tool for instant messaging. We also see that a couple of uh, conference numbers are available, although long distance charges will likely apply if someone calls in. If we don't want to use text chat, we have access to audio. We can join the meeting using a microphone or we can choose to listen to the meeting session. We have access to video so that we can see one another while we're communicating. And as a presenter, we have options available to us so that we can conserve network resources by disabling webcams or desktop sharing. And we can also lock users out of their access to a webcam, microphone, or the chat tools if we want to stay on track with our meeting. Recording is as easy as pressing a button. And we can stop and start recording several times throughout a meeting knowing that the recordings will be combined for playback. We can use the whiteboard or we can upload a presentation. For lecture material, and we can collaborate using the annotation tools or we can share the file that we're viewing with our audience through chat. Application sharing can provide you with opportunities to demonstrate tasks. You can share your application window, your entire screen, or a browser tab. We can use breakout rooms to provide users with an opportunity to collaborate and share tools. And if we have a guest speaker, we can make them a presenter so they can provide real world expertise as they share their knowledge or as speakers to engage our students in a conversation. Bongo Virtual Classroom provides you with a number of ways to engage students in interactive activities. I hope you find it's a tool that you can use in your class to enhance engagement, and I thank you for the opportunity to present.